So this is the power jerk. I want to just have a quick uh, run through of positioning so you can see his legs are straight, his weight is in his heels. He has a nice vertical torso, uh, glutes are squeezed, knees are locked. You can see that his chest is high and his head is pulled back. Now the big change that you want to make sure you're doing once you've caught your clean is your elbows are not directly parallel to the floor and they are also not directly pointed forward. They are dropped about 45 degrees from the torso and they are also flared out about 45 degrees. What that's going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to spread the lats and widen the chest so you can create a shelf. So what you want to think about now is you should have a dip. Uh, the dip should be about 10% of your height. Um, so for instance, this athlete here uh, is about 72 inches. So he's looking at about a 7 inch drop. You want to make sure that you don't dip too quick because you don't want to shoot the system. However, you do not want to pause. On the dip, you want to keep your weight in the heels. You want to make sure that your chest stays vertical, your elbows stay tall, and you want to drive your knees forward over the toes. Once you hit that magic spot and you're ready to drive through the bar, you want to drive the heels through the floor. Think about launching the bar off the chest by a huge push from the floor, and that is called your dip and drive. What you want to then do is rebound underneath the bar with locked elbows. You have to catch that bar with locked elbows or you will miss the lift. So let's take a look at this athlete as he goes. You can see that he has a quick dip and then he drives it off his torso, landing vertically overhead with locked arms. This is your power